Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. So today we are going to do a reading to find out how is the full moon in Scorpio that is happening on 23rd of April. How is it going to affect you? So we have three piles here. Okay. Pile number one is the Rider card. Pile number two is the Clover and pile number three is the ship okay so you can take your time and see which is the one that attracts your attention and you can pause the video here and see which is the one that you want to listen to the timestamps will be mentioned in the description box so make sure you check the description box to go to the uh, link or to go to the reading that you want to go to okay so now let's start with pile number one pile number one how is the full moon in scorpio going to affect you how is the full moon in scorpio going to affect you you may hear a background disturbing noise, okay, a constant noise of a machine. That's the fan which is on here. It's really hot and I can't just um, do without the fan. So please ignore the sound, okay. So back to the reading. File number one, how is the full moon in Scorpio going to affect you? How is the full moon in Scorpio going to affect pile number one? Pile number one. Okay. Pile number one, you may have a tendency to, you know, feel a little lonely. Uh, I see that you may have thoughts of lack. It's like the feeling of not having enough, okay? The feeling of uh, having to walk a difficult path. It's like you would feel like there is no one around you who who's really supportive of you, who is really taking care of you, or you really need that care. And you will feel a lack of that thing in your life and that is going to make you feel a little heavy that is uh, you ha you will have the tendency of feeling lonely okay you will have the tendency of uh, feeling left out in the in the cold you would feel very cold i i can feel a very cold heart where you f you want the warmth of someone else or you want the warmth of someone around you but you are lacking it it's a feeling of you know feeling crippled okay you are feeling crippled you feel like you are dependent on something and you are and you don't have the access to that dependency okay file number one what should you do what is the advice What is the advice for you? What is the advice for you on this full moon in Scorpio? Make sure that you are surrounded by people who are like-minded. So you are surrounded by people who, you know, appreciate your skills, who appreciate your talents, okay? be with your kind of people who vibrate on the same frequency as you do okay because that will help you be in the right mind frame that will help you keep uh, yourself motivated i see that uh, involving in some kind of a group activity it could be a, a group healing session or it could be a group uh, anything that involves a group maybe a, a lesson that you get to learn in a group such kind of collaborative activities is going to boost your energy okay that is going to help you what is the outcome of this full moon energy what is going to be the outcome of this full moon energy the outcome of this full moon energy is that you will learn to, you know, put down things that are making you heavy. 
you will learn to you know take on your plate what you can digest okay you will probably you have the tendency of taking too much of work that you can't really handle and then feel overwhelmed and then feel crippled and demotivated and de-energized but this full moon energy is going to teach you how to delegate your work how to work in a group how to work in a team how to not take everything by yourself how to make use of uh support that is uh, available to you okay probably you have support but you uh, you are not very open to receiving support probably you don't let people in okay and that makes you feel heavy that you know it, it causes burnout and you tend to uh, indulge in this feeling of not being able to complete the task that you have in your mind regarding your finances i see that if you are feeling a little tight if you are feeling a little uncomfortable i see that help is at hand uh if you are applying for a loan things are going to materialize if you are reaching out for help financially um uh, someone is ready to help you to uh you know if you are planning to grow something somebody is ready to invest in you so that uh, you grow together so your advice is to not take everything on yourself please take the help that is available to you so this full moon energy pile number 1 i see that you are working you are learning to work in a team you are learning to not depend entirely on yourself and take the help that is available to you for your best growth forward okay so that was for you pile number 1 i hope this was helpful let's move to pile number 2 So pile number two, whoever chose the clover, okay, let's find out how is the full moon going to affect you. So pile number two, how is the full moon in Scorpio going to affect you? How are you going to feel like? What is the advice and what is the final outcome? So pile number two, how is the full moon going to affect you? Pile number two, I see the page of swords here, and it tells me that you are going to uh, be very much in your head space. Okay, you will have a rush of different ideas, different thoughts. Okay, you will not feel calm. You probably will tend to overthink. Okay, probably some of you may indulge in uh, a lot of gossip. So please refrain from that. I see that your mind is very, very uh, active in a way that it is making you feel unstable. Okay, uh, I see that you are being taken over by uh, a rush of thoughts in your mind. So this full moon energy is going to play a havoc on your mind. Okay, pile number two. So be careful. do not tend if you if you tend to overthink on simple things in life make sure that you practice some de deep breathing exercises or uh, some kind of meditation to calm your mind because i see that you will tend to overthink what is the advice what is the advice for you here your advice is to you know focus on your advice is to focus you, since you have a ton of the page of uh, swords energy is about very child like erratic energy it's like your mind doesn't have any focus you have 10 thoughts running in your mind and you don't know which one to focus on so your advice is the king of swords which is all about focus on getting getting the clarity of what you need to do ahead okay make a game plan for yourself make a goal setting um, ritual for yourself where you sit down with pen and paper and write down what are the goals that you want to achieve in the next 6 um, months or so or keep it short keep a goal for if you can't focus for 6 months then keep it short keep it for uh, for the next 1 month okay for the next full moon cycle So your advice is to have very crystal clear focus very sharp focus so that your mind is not erratic running around here and there trying to distract you in different directions okay pile number 
what is the outcome of this full moon energy for you file number two what is the outcome for you I see that if you are into writing, if you are an author, you may, you will have a difficult situation. If you you will you might have a difficult time, you know, um, focusing on uh, one topic or focusing on something that you really should be focusing on. The outcome is that you will gain a lot of wisdom. Okay, I see that you will. Praying will help you gain a lot of wisdom. If you are uh, like in the indulging in any kind of spiritual activity, will help you a lot. The Page of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Hierophant is telling me that this full moon energy is going to give you some very deep wisdom, which is going to unlock some very very important keys in your life. You will gain access to some kind of knowledge. that is going to be very deep and very useful in your life ahead okay pile number 2 i see that you are unlocking your full intellectual potential uh probably you are thinking on a lot of different career opportunities that may be lined up for you or maybe you are trying to figure out your skills in a deeper manner and you are you know open to explore different avenues mentally okay what are your different skills your analytical skills your verbal skills what are the skills that you are good at and you will understand you will you know unlock that specific skill that you hold so that you attain the power that you're looking for okay for those of you who are in the field of writing and uh, for those of you who are in the field of taking judgments of um, you know uh, judiciary work for those of you who are into any kind of highly intellectual kind of career paths this is a very very beautiful effect of the full moon that you are getting on yourself okay pile number 2 so this is a very very lucky time for you make the most of it uh make uh, your goals make your uh, your your set your goals and work towards it with full focus this is going to lead to fruition 100% okay pile number 2 that was for you i hope that was helpful let's move to pile number 3 so pile number 3 whoever chose the ship let's find out how is the full moon in scorpio going to affect you how is the full moon in scorpio going to affect you pile number 3 how is the full moon in scorpio going to affect you pile number 3 I have the chariot very nice this full moon is going to make you feel extremely driven okay you are going to feel so motivated you will feel that rush of motivation in yourself you will have that self drive you will have that that strong self motivation okay it's it's like the universe is pushing you you feel a very strong push from the cosmos from like internally your energy is very very driven okay you are i'm on the right path and you have a lot of confidence in you you are uh, feeling um, you feel that no matter what obstacle come your way you are going to overtake all that okay without any doubt you have a, a yeah you have an enormous amount of confidence and you know that you are moving in the right direction What is the advice here, though? Everything looks very nice for you. The Chariot card says it all. Pile number three. I see the Fool and the Three of Swords. I see that something has, uh, you know, caused a, a some uh, a heartbreak uh, in your life. Something has uh, crushed your um, your feelings. Something has made you feel sad, or something has broken your heart. But you have not given up. This has given you new hope. 
and this was a disguise uh, this was a blessing in disguise because i see that because of this heartbreak you are uh, approaching this path of taking a risk and stepping out of your comfort zone to move ahead in the direction that is aligned to you okay that is aligned to your higher purpose so this is a very very beautiful energy for you pile number 3 i see that this is a journey of your soul where you are ready to jump into a path that is highly highly rewarding spiritually emotionally and also financially so i see the advice for you is to not give up okay the advice for you is to not give up don't pay attention to minor losses minor failures and always trust the path that you're in and be ready to leap into a and be ready to leap into you know into an uncharted territory where you have uh the possibility of fresh new beginnings okay be ready for um uh, accepting new growth and new opportunities what is the outcome for you with this full moon energy in scorpio if you listen to this advice what is the outcome what is the outcome for you pile number 3 pile number 3 i see that you are getting a fresh new path you are you know you are exploring a new path you already probably have a path set this is not something that you are changing but you it's it's all about the energy of having something stable and also adding it adding something to it so that you uh, move in a fresh new direction with fresh new expansion opportunities okay so that is what is happening you are i see that you are moving ahead with full confidence and a lot of positivity towards a, a phase in your life which is bringing you fresh opportunities fresh growth fresh expansion okay so that was your reading pile number 3 i hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section if it resonated and i will see you very soon in another pick up pile reading till then take care bye bye